So I got this chocolates from Kate Weiser, 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 I guess. Been shipped to me. It took a long time to ship. It took more than a week. Um, and she is located in Texas, I guess. Um, yeah, Texas. Okay, so I'm gonna open it and show you everything. I have ordered um, bars. We call them bars. So it's essentially like a big, huge bonbon, very thick. The flavor is strawberry cheesecake. And the box of chocolates. And I'm interested in everything. I'm interested in packaging. I'm interested in flavors and uh, how they look, how the chocolates look, how they taste, what uh, what do they put inside the box in terms of the um, um, supporting documentation. So we're gonna go through all of that and I'll show you everything. So first of all, what I like. Here's this nice packaging with a paper sleeve. I've heard that's the best way to package your chocolates because then you can have a brand in here and information about your chocolates here, like ingredients and everything else. So, and it's easier to store on top of each other. And that's what I like about this chocolate. It has this nice packaging, a nice sleeve. But when I'm taking it off, um, the box provides a very beautiful image with a branding. Um, the box feels very sturdy. I like how it's embossed. No? Embossed. Embossed. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. So I'm going to open this up. Yeah, the box feels great. It's one of those rigid, they call it rigid box boxes. Um, in terms of the like how I look at it as a professional, I can see it leaves some marks, so that's maybe a little disadvantage, but let's focus on the chocolates. Okay, so this is interesting. This is shrink wrapped, and that's what preserves it from opening, from, from flipping, and maybe twisting and turning the chocolates. Um, but also, it's easy to um, freeze them like that and that's what I suppose that's what happened it's been frozen and then when the time came to ship it they were just took out of the freezer and store it somewhere in um, um, room temperature um, what I can also say about this shrink wrap thing this film around it so what it creates when you ship this thing this box um, it creates a barrier between the, the uh, moisture in the air, essentially, the, to prevent it from absorbing that, as well as the box, but also the chocolates itself. Um, and yeah, so as I said, most likely those chocolates were frozen, um, and that helps to keep up with the volume is freezing your um, chocolates. So I'm gonna open it right now. Right. Okay, this is fun thing. Um, so this is a menu as far as I understand. Um, I don't remember how many chocolates are here. Uh, I'm just wondering if that's... Okay, moment of truth. I'm going to open the the box. Okay, all right. Yeah. Ooh, that's a wow effect. Wow effect. I would say that's pretty beautiful. Oh my gosh. They are beautiful. Yeah, very glossy, very colorful, very bright, um, and makes you guessing what are the flavors. So I assume that this menu exactly represents what do I have here. Um, yeah. And I'm going to read about it. Okay, nice barcode. That's very helpful. More flavors here, right? So you can go to the website and see what they have 
key lime pie, raspberry, cherry, almond, peanut butter, pistachio, peach, passion fruit, toasted coconut, cookie monster, truffle honey, snake snack, what is that? Uh, salted caramel, strawberry, basil, ninja, turtle, mango, hazelnut, lavender, chocolate, red wine, and dark chocolate. Yeah, many things that I love. Okay, care instructions, which is great, you know, because I, as a consumer, I don't know how to store them. I want to, I want to paste them out a little bit to not to eat them all but i would say i would put them in the fridge and that's a big mistake don't put your chocolates in the fridge um yeah oh nice i love it slow down take a moment you're about to eat something very special that's a good good one that how i feel people should eat chocolates is uh, take let's say this one i don't know which one is that but i like the color um and look at it you know enjoy the gloss gloss enjoy the colors yeah always flip it to see the fruit of your chocolate this is very beautiful um and take a bite don't ever put any chocolates one piece in your mouth enjoy so i'm gonna cut this one now and see what's inside so yeah we chose this one to try and this is a red wine and berries Cabernet potato fruit layered with dark berry ganache. Oh my goodness, it sounds really delicious. So I'm gonna cut it now. Um, oh wow. Okay, feels great as I cut it. So you can see the cut. This is a very rich potato fruit. Some of people say pâté de fruits. Um, anyway, the shell is very thin, um, very professional. Uh, the ganache is very creamy and rich and potato fruit. Interesting. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to take a bite. I'm going to leave this here. I'm going to take a bite. Oh, mmm, mmm. Mmm, you know what? This is much better than I expected. I mean, my chocolates are great, but... <laughs> great job, Kate Wazer. <laughs> okay, so I definitely can feel that this has been made uh, of wine. So potato fruit or jello, some people call it also jello. It's very rich and has this uh, nice um, grapey berry flavor. And ganache is very smooth. I like it. Um, yeah, so I give this to my husband and see what he says. <laughs> Another one we decided to try is raspberry and something. We'll check out the beautiful gloss and beautiful color. So it has it just says raspberry, right? Okay. And dark chocolate finish. okay perfect perfect my favorite i'm a more fruity person than nut person all right again the same principle which is actually great i admire those people who are using different flavors but the same kind of style um so yeah this is potato fruit raspberry i assume and this is just a, like a ganache dark ganache so Cheers. Mmm. Oh, wow. Raspberry potato fruit is great. <laughs> it's great. Uh-oh. Okay. So now we're going to try this one. It says it's truffle honey. Uh, it has milk chocolate ganache infused with black truffle and honey. Oh, my gosh. Today is a night of winning chocolates. <laughs> Truffle is one of my favorite flavor. All right. So just one layer. Um, the same thin shell. And let me just have a... Uh, well, okay. I don't feel the aroma of truffle, but I'm sure it's going to 
have a little aftertaste when, when we try this one. Mmm. Oh, yeah. It does have this truffle flavor. Very interesting. Is that mushroom truffle? Mushroom truffle, yeah. Oh, okay. But you know what? It doesn't spoil it, doesn't ruin it. It has a first kind of spark of truffle, but then it goes into honey. And it's very interesting. Okay. Yeah, it's really cool combination. Okay, so we have tasted four pieces. I uh, We had snick snack. It was a peanut butter and peanut butter ganache and some caramel, salted caramel. That was, um, that was really good. Although I'm not neither peanut butter nor caramel person, but it was, it was pretty good. Um, I wanted to say a few words about the packaging. Again, this probably is custom made and those shapes are great for all the, sh um, the cavities are great for all the shapes of the chocolates and it makes it easy to grab any, any chocolate of any shape. So that's really fun. Um, I like how it's stacked inside the box, you know, so it's really sturdy, it doesn't move, um, and it's pretty high, so the chocolates are not jumping out of cavities, which is great for the shipment, so they stay all put. Um, so in the in this box we had this little instruction and also in the shipping box I had this really nice envelope, very sophisticated, branded um and it just had also little instructions care instructions and um, it's basically the receipt um and what else a little card that says again care instructions okay you, <laughs> you need to pay attention to the how do you care about your chocolates which is yeah i think this is important to educate people not to put the chocolates in the fridge or like in a window or in the sun, a direct light. So yeah, and not to store them too long. I'm sure this uh, chocolate doesn't have preservatives uh, as well as Docherie's chocolates, uh, but so it's important to consume them within a certain amount of time. Uh, next time we'll try another few chocolates and we'll give you the feedback, but also this beautiful bar. Um, which is essentially a huge bonbon. It's a kind of snack bar. It's pretty heavy. Well, thanks for listening and watching us today. And have a great day.